find out what mineral oil does. Oh goodness, do I want to like go down this road? Yes, it's kind of like sinning and trying to pretend that it doesn't have consequences. Ugh, I know, but oh man, it seems good as you're doing it, don't it though? Did I just go there? Yes, I did. Welcome to my channel. All right, well, hi, I'm Karen. All right, in this video today, I'm finally gonna be sitting down and doing swatches on this and testing this a little bit more. Definitely wanna get it cracking in and do this video. And I think a thought that also came to mind was, I wanna use this and put out about a week's, in my mind, week, not in YouTube life week, but a week's worth of videos using this to really determine if this is worth keeping or you know taking it back so let's go ahead and jump into doing swatches and then i'm going to pick the first look which i think ain't gonna be too hard as far as knowing the color i already want to use all right so let's go ahead and jump into it do we want to go through each color i guess so huh okay let's just go through it like this is definitely a shimmer color this one it's like a glowy color. It's like the type of color you would typically use to like highlight your brow bone. The third one is definitely shimmer. This one feels like shimmer slash glitter pressed into it. This color right here, serious. Yeah, it's definitely more, it's more of a satin. It's like a satin sheen. All right, let's see if we can build that color up. Yep, it's buildable. It's definitely buildable. I see now why people swatch the whole thing. Let's just swatch the whole thing. No talking. Frosting, that'd be the last one. And then we're gonna run through, how about that? Frosting is like this pretty shimmery glitter packed. Ooh, it's uh, it's not what I thought it was. Huh, imagine that. Oh, wow. Ooh, but it'll probably make a really, really pretty topper shade. So they have a lot of varieties in here. That is for sure. All right, let's run through. Oh wow, this is so pretty. And I just want to note that there's a stain right there and I barely had that on for, I don't know, 30, 40 seconds. So FYI, <laughs> and that was from the purple shade, the purple matte shade. hold up okay so there are two colors that stain in this palette for sure actually three that stain i would say all the purples and magentas stain because that stain just went on top of the last one and then an additional one so just be mindful of that if you don't like your eyelids being stained you may not want to utilize these last three shades here these purple shades all right and i guess you can say probably because they're red based in essence so all right so let's go ahead and jump into a look and i will not be using the purple none of the others did this i don't know maybe it won't be as bad i think if you have a base on i think it won't be as bad because i had a base on and i used this burgundy color and i didn't notice an eye stain yeah i would just say wear a nice layer of base with this you know don't apply it to bare skin so it doesn't stain your eyelids because i did use the burgundy color and i didn't experience that all right so i've already moisturized my face and did my brows for concealer i'm going to use these from bh cosmetics it's a studio pro concealer 114 and 105. my goal is to make sure it's not like sitting over it really really thick and then it clings and then i can't like blend it all right let's figure out what color to use i was about to say i've seen this look that kathleen lights did with her palette her dream palette and she used this cool toned brown and kind of a shade well the shade resulted looking like this let me say that and um i really liked it let's use a smaller brush this is too big what am i thinking all right so i'm going in with coast and be prepared for a lot of blending if you really want to watch this video my goal is to show you what the eyeshadow performs like instead of cutting you know i mean you know clearly i'm not going to show the whole thing but definitely when I'm editing, I, I always like to look and see what I think is like important parts that you might not want to miss. You know, like how it went on from the beginning to this instead of just jumping straight to this. And it's like, oh, you didn't even get to see the struggle, you know, or you didn't see how well it went on. I might be the only person that knows that and waited till the phase got better before. You know what I mean? I don't know. For me, I, I want to see. 
I don't want to be tricked and bamboozled. You know what I mean? It's like, let me see how it performs so I can make that judgment. Hey, yeah, I don't mind doing that for that. Yeah, for that price. And I got to go through that. But you don't see the struggle and then you use it and you're like, whoa, hold up. So how many of you have seen this palette in Target and you're like, <gasps> all right, I think that's enough. Let's go on with statement. I'm not sure what difference that's really going to make. Um, I want to see if we can use that to buff above the crease. I don't know. Uh, yeah, no. <laughs> okay, let's stop there. Let's get it more in the crease. Let's see what happens. Mm, no. No. I'm going to fade up to the top because, you know, I don't want halo brow situation. So let's just dust it up. Do you think it went too far? <laughs> let's see what we can do to salvage this. Salvage. Salvage this. I... Whatever. I'm going to be going in with this Zueva dupe brush. And let's go into Enigma, which is a very teal navy blue shade. But it almost looks teal, but it's not. It's leaning more on the navy blue side. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Wow. Okay, this is definitely... You know what? I probably... Let's do that now. Yeah, why not? I'm going to be using the e.l.f. No Budge um, Shadow Stick. I mean, I don't know if I really need it, but, you know... Interesting. Did it just change? Of, of course it would change. I definitely want to make sure the color sticks. Um, and usually I, I like to do a dark base, but this will work just as well. Mm, smaller brush. Oh, there's the brush I was looking for. All right, let's go in with Enigma. Just maybe don't go crazy. We can smoke out the edge. Yeah, I would definitely put down a base that'll make it stick so it doesn't start coming off like right here. Um, I can definitely see a little bit of the color coming off versus this side. It didn't do that because it's a dark color. And the last thing you want is the dark color coming off slightly and showing your, your tone. You know what I mean? All right, let's move on. I'm going to move on to cruise. It's a beautiful sea blue, green, uh, blue, deep blue, sea, deep blue, teal kind of color. It's very beautiful. Definitely use a base. I see the difference. Oh, yeah, use a gel liner. Use something that it will definitely like a pencil, some kind of, you know, good moist eyeshadow pencil. It can be navy blue, it can be black, it can be dark brown, it can be bronzy. Yeah, I saw this look that Face Over Matter did with this type of color from, um, who was that from? Makeup Geek? Yeah, I saw this palette. I think I saw this palette like the same day and I was like, whoa, that's, I'm gonna get it just for that color. I know, right? Isn't that crazy? Like you would get an eyeshadow palette just for a color, but that's happened to me like a couple of times already. I don't mind. I don't know. I think it's it's good enough. We don't have to be dramatic, right? And then on the lower lash line, I do want to do something else. Um, or do I want to keep this civil? You know what? I think that would be nice. Yes, I'm having my thoughts are like, yeah, you can use, yeah. So I'm to be on the safe side. I'm I know I put that other thing down, but there's no budge. It is true to his name. I guess maybe let's just start off small, you know. Let's repeat the colors. There we go. Let's join forces. And honestly, I want to make sure this sticks. So this is my biggest concern. So let's let's get the navy blue on there. All right, let's go on to cruise. Be careful, don't get the stuff in your eye. All right, and then I'm gonna switch it up and go to, yeah, let's do a little bit of Stormy. I was thinking green, but I think this might be too blued out. What do y'all think? I th yeah, I think let's just go in with some Jade. There we go, let's bring some fun back. I think. Don't get the stuff in your eye. All right, then for the inside corner, I'm definitely gonna be going in with Majesty. It's like this gold green, sorry. Yeah, it's a gold green color. Honestly, we probably could have stopped right here. Like we could have probably just used this color instead of, you know, doing all the green and all that. But you know, that's pretty. All right, let's go back into Coast so we can uh, bring this all back in together. You know what this reminds me of? Oh my gosh. This reminds me of peacock feathers. All right, let's clean up. 
I probably don't even need this much concealer. I don't know why I'm playing games. For concealer, I'm using Cover FX Power Play and Medium 3. For foundation, I'm using Maybelline Superstay, Toffee, and Golden. Mmm. <laughs> And then to contour, I'm using Mocha. And I'm using this e.l.f. stippling brush just so it can fit in this area and then not spread it to places I really don't want it to go to, especially like drifting all up in the hairline. Mm -hmm. Don't leave. To set, I'm going to use the Cover FX Translucent Light Setting Powder. <laughs> I'm using this e.l.f. sponge dry. I'm not, I did not wet it. I thought about it. I was like, all the times that I ever use those makeup wedges. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Those foam latex makeup wedges. Yeah, I didn't use that wet and it turned out just fine. Yeah, I think that's good. Okay. I'm just making sure this nose I'm going nowhere. <laughs> I'm not a glasses person, but I'm a shades person. And yeah, there's nothing like your nose makeup coming off, like right in this area. I hate, yeah, no. All right, now we can move on. It's the Do Care brush. And I'm not gonna set under the eyes, because honestly, I didn't realize how much I like the Cover FX um, concealer until the other day when I was using the Superstay foundation, the golden underneath my eye. And I noticed all the creasage. I was like, no, 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 my friend, we'll keep you down here, you know, down the lower area, but near the eyes, definitely doing the, the cover FX. And then the other cool thing about the cover FX is I have not had to set it like, um, in the flower beauty one as well. I don't have to set those two. And I actually love that because I avoid the whole dry, creepy looking area, wrinkly at the bottom. Yeah, that usually makes you look crazy and aged and really shows, hey, yeah, you got a lot of makeup down there. Like, no. Mm -mm. Set my chinny chin chin too. Let's see, maybe, hopefully there's some powder on here. I don't know, maybe, no? I don't wanna open it back up. <laughs> Just a laziness, laser. Can't be lazy. And then I'm gonna be going with this Bake Duo from Sephora. And I'm using it up, y'all. Like, honestly, they don't, they don't have this particular one in stock, but I can only imagine that they do have some other similar formula, uh, cause they do have like um, their other baked foundation, which I don't know, it kind of made me think of like Max um, Mineralized Finish. So I don't know, I'm gonna have to check them out because yeah, I'm really feeling this whole look. It's matte, but it's not matte. It has like a satin finish. So it definitely does add that skin look to it. And it's funny because I've been sitting on this and I hadn't used it. That doesn't even make sense. Like, they don't. This is the the highlight side. Oh, and the color of this is in Honey Heap, by the way. And I like it because it's just nice and subtle. It's not, you know, doing the most. It doesn't look super glittery on the skin. I was like, I need to invest in more baked stuff. Like, I like this. It's subtle. It doesn't look like, you know, all my texture's glowing. So I don't know because it's baked. I don't know. I might have to look into that. Like, look into more baked products. Yeah, let's use it and got it. This thing is, looks nice and used. How about that? All right. And then I'm going to be using the Becca Be a Light palette. This is in medium to deep. And did y'all know they have this on sale? I bought this at full price. You know, I kind of feel some kind of way about that. I really, really, really love the blush in this. I, and I need to use more of the other powders. I'm going to get a chance. I'm getting lighter. It's coming. This is the little brightening thing. It's a blur powder, so maybe, let's see. Yeah, no, let's not go in hand. Ugh, leave well enough alone. Why mess with a good thing? All right. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna go in with this color right here for the blush. It's like a wine gold color, a, a very light wine, <laughs> burgundy, shimmer, marble activity. It, but it's so pretty. Like, I never thought that would be me. Like, I mean, I never thought I'd be wearing blush either. But I see, like, if it's done appropriately, put in the right place, and it's not in competition with the eyeshadow, 
yeah, I'm starting to see how it's beneficial. Put a little tap tap. All right, and let's spray this down. I'm gonna be using Yeso Tomatoes, per usual, and it's a toner. And it's just to bring back that balance into your skin, the pH balance back. If you notice, looking at, at my face, you see like how it looks completely light down here, but everything else looks like really tan. Like you can even see it right here. That's a sign. And to go in with a little shum shum. Just kind of, let's become human again. Better. All right, that looks better. I don't know. Sometimes you really have to just take time. That's why I said, like, for me, I don't like contouring all that light, too much light color down here because I just feel like it makes certain areas look bigger and more pronounced. So something to definitely pay attention to. All right, and then I'm using Lash Paradise. That looks good. And then for lips, I'm going to be using Chestnut from Wet n Wild. And I think the cool brown, the cool tone brown really goes nicely with what I used in the crease. You know, it is kind of weird. This does look more cool. I don't know, maybe because I have the other lip liner, this looks more cool tone brown than I remember it looking before. And then for lips, I'm going to be going in with this e.l.f. High Shine um, Liquid Lipstick, and it's in Naked Nude. I put this on the other day, and I was just like, oh, I remember now why I like this so much. Don't put too much on, though. <laughs> I tell you, that Wet n' Wild Chestnut, on point every time. All right, so this is the final look. I'm going to be doing about three more of these videos. Am I? I think I should. Anyway, I'm going to do as many as I feel like doing. How about that? <laughs> All right, so I'm definitely going to give you my thoughts on the first time I used it compared to now. Um, the first time I used it, I used this color up here, which was Love Story. And it was kind of one of those colors you really, I don't know, maybe it works better on top of another color to add like a grit glittery effect. But using it by itself, it wouldn't stick to the base. And I had to really add, I had to add on more concealer to be able to use it and get it to stick to it. And then it looked like that wrinkly skin texture of when you're trying to make shimmer stick. And I really wasn't too much a fan of that. But this color that I used over here, the gravity, that was a beautiful color. It went on well. So I'm just thinking maybe this is probably more of a topper shade that you put on top of another color that you have underneath. Same thing probably with like a color like Frost. To me, Frost and Love Story definitely um, seem to have similar textures, but I won't know until I've tested out that color as well to really be like, okay, I see. This is something that's better on top of another shimmer eyeshadow. Don't try to use it to fill in the base. Just use it to like add a little pizzazz type of thing. And maybe use some glitter glue with it, maybe? I don't know, we'll see. Um, but so far, oh my gosh, y'all. Like I've, every color I used, I have to say, I loved the way it performed. Um, I wasn't sure if I went haywire with the coast color and the statement, but where I placed the navy blue teal color, it's it's perfect. It's perfect, the Enigma color. Yeah, the shimmer for Cruise and Majesty went on superbly smooth, no hassle, no extra thing to put down to make it stick. Even Jade, all these colors, all these types of shimmers in here went on great. And there's a whole bunch of shimmers like that. I think literally like this whole row, including that one, no, actually, no, these are kind of powdery. This one, this one, and that one is kind of powdery. But these shimmers here, um, they definitely, that one too, they all go on very, very pigment very, very well. This one, it's, it's kind of pigmented, um, but it, it doesn't look like the rest of them. It looks more like a sheen. So I would definitely say like these two definitely, uh, but this seems more pigmented than this. This is definitely a little bit more translucent. So like I was saying, I think it's more like for brow highlights, inner corner highlights, or maybe if you wanted to use as a major glow highlight on your, you know, on your face areas. Yeah, thoughts so far? Uh, for this look alone, it's bomb. Uh, hello, $10. I gotta find out what mineral oil does. Oh goodness, do I wanna like go down this road? <sighs> yes, it's kind of like sinning and trying to pretend like it doesn't exist and that it doesn't have consequences. Ugh, I know. So I'm gonna have to find out, but oh man. It seems good as you're doing it, don't it though? Until you know better.
then and use thought I have regrets. <laughs> did I just go there? Yes, I did. Welcome to my channel. <laughs> Anyway, I just want to say thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to go ahead and give it a thumbs up so more people like you across YouTube can find my channel here. Anyway, and I'll talk to you all soon. <laughs> Bye.